guys, Richie from Frederick News, and we are back. Uh, real excited today that we sat here again. We're going to be doing a um, product review demo. Um, this is going to be an, a van of fuzz pedal that can cover it all. Um, this pedal is coming from Horifia Effects. This is the Alut. And if you've played for a lot of fuzzes, it gets to a point where you kind of feel like you've played them all, right? Um, you know, apart from maybe variants in, in the actual circuitry and silicone and germanium, um, and you get to a point where nothing really excites you too much. So as there is to say, you find one and you kind of you kind of stick to it. Um, Tom mentioned that he was going to be building something similar. I had played a prototype a while back, um, and when he contacted me recently and said about this being ready, I was super excited to give it a give it a whirl. Now, being completely honest. When, when it arrived, other than I do love the way it looks, I was like, oh, well, there's a, a lot of dolls on there, and that usually isn't for me. I'm usually more of a set and forget man. Um, but I can definitely confirm that <laughs> the dolls are so intuitive that it's actually, it's actually exciting to be, to be twisting the knobs. And it, whilst you're twisting the knobs, you ain't getting lost in, you know, oh, God, I'm tweaking and looking for this sound. You can kind of move a slight bit on one of them and, and sit on that tone for a while. That being said, you can set it for a set and forget. I like to think of it for the little time I've had it without going too deep into it as being like a traditional kind of fuzz face um, with more overtones. Um, you can, and you can definitely dial it back to sort of zonkish or brown or kind of rubber band tones, which I, which I really love. Um, it has a cold and hot bias, bias sorry, a cap defeat, uh, the input filter and output filter, which is like a high pass filter, which is just incredible by the way. Uh, kind of takes off, rolls off the high, can make it a bit nasally. Um, it has a power sag, which is magic. Um, so you can run it as if you're on a nine volt battery all the way down to five volt. Uh, the volume, which is loads of on tap by the way. And something really cool and interesting, which I've never seen on a pedal before, is that um, on the input and output, Tom has put a freeway there with two selections, the middle being off. Um, to the right, you have dark, and to the left, you have light. And what this does is this replicates what a coily cable would do. Um, so it takes up some capacitance, which is really cool. Winding pickups for a long time, I understand what um, capacitance does to Tom. And having this option on top is is really, really very cool. This is gonna do it all for me. I know it's a keeper. Um, so I don't wanna to talk too much more. Um, I'll drop the links to Tom's uh, socials. Um, if I've done it correctly, there'll be some pictures all the way through which will give you a better idea of what the controls can do. I also really love the cap defeat. Um, I'm not actually sure what it does. <laughs> um, I'm still yet to read up on that, but uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's not talk too much, talk is boring. We're gonna get straight into the tones. Um, this is Richie for Fred Junkies, thanks for being here. And if you could hit the like and subscribe, and I won't check the pedal on the floor, um, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much, peace.
Mm-hmm.